Yehaha is a brand new, user-generated content creation platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experience. With Yehaha, anyone can create and publish their virtual experiences without coding experience or server knowledge. Simply use the available templates, components and smart sets in Yehaha Studio to make your dream games. Let me quickly show you how to get started. First, you want to start by heading into the asset library after selecting a template to work off of. You have a wide variety of options here to help you with your creation. You can then add your chosen asset to my assets and begin the real fun part. Go ahead and in the asset and from there you can change the position of where you want it either by dragging it or entering a position manually. Furthermore you can give the object a component to give it a behavior such as it moving when a player touches it. After all these simple steps go ahead and press play to test out your work so far. And if you want to make any further changes or add a new object, just repeat the same steps. As you can see, Yahaha makes things very easy for its users to create what they want and you can try it out today. So go ahead and click the link in the description to download Yahaha right now. Hey what's up guys, it's Unleash here today and we're back with another video on Sonic Frontiers. And um, yeah by the way my voice is uh, gone as you can clearly, well it's, it's not gone, it's a bit rough right now because obviously in the UK yeah, winters is here, so and um, yeah, it's causing everybody to get ill. No, it's it's not nice. It's not nice. But um, yes, in today's video, as you can clearly see right here and here. By the way, this is my mic. As you know from like my playthrough, if you've seen it so far. By the way, if you haven't already, go watch it right now. Well, if you played Frontiers already, if you ever played Frontiers already, I recommend highly. Play that game before yourself, blind, because you will not regret it at all. Trust me, bro. Trust me. Anyways, um, yeah, in today's video, you can see here. I have two boxes, wait hang on, this, this is going to be an unboxing video by the way, I've never done one of these before so I don't know how this is going to go, so bear with me here alright, but um, yeah, Sonic Frontiers, it says it right there, and also right there it says Sonic Frontiers, now you might be wondering, Unleash, what the hell are in these boxes, now trust me it's not free Frontiers copies or anything like that, because Sega was actually nice enough to send me uh, apparently some sort of Sonic Frontiers curry, that's right, for those of you who are very very into the sonic merch or whatever and food or whatever you know that before this time right now there was already a blue sonic curry that released and um apparently the memorable sonic frontiers and they decided to go ahead and send it to me so um thank you saga thank you not complaining at all i mean i'm brown south asian we love our curries are definitely a lot so um yeah let's just uh, jump right in right by the way remember i'm not i've never done an unboxing video before so bear with me here Right, how the heck am I going to do this right now? i got no space in this table. If you saw where I'm recording this right now, you'd be utterly just appalled right now. i got no space here, but um, yeah. Actually, I can show this right now. We see right there, it says Sonic Front... Well, hashtag Sonic Frontiers and then at Sega West. Now, I try and find the at Sega West account on Instagram and Twitter and the account doesn't exist, so... Don't know who that is, but um... Maybe some sort of company or something. I don't know where that is, but um... Yeah, thank you for sending me that Sega West. Thank you. Right, let's get into the first box. Right. Now right, we can see in here. Hang on. There. Right. So some of these black things, obviously to keep it all safe. Because the box had fragile and so I'm guessing some important stuff in here. Right then. First things first, we have a Sonic Frontiers plate. Very nice. Is it I think it's some sort of yes, it's definitely glass, yes, glass. Then on the bottom once again. Hashtag Sonic Frontiers, Sega West. I'll put that over there. Oh wait, hang on, there's something right here. Now, let me read this first, right. Right, Sonic Frontiers Katsu Curry Ingredients. 125 grams of uncooked rice. Wait, do I have to cook this myself or is it actually provided in here? It might be in this, I right, just read it anyways. 25 grams blue food coloring, 250 millimeters of coconut milk, 28 grams of mini honey pot, 45 grams of spice mix, curry powder and turmeric powder, 70 milliliters of vegetable oil, one onion, one carrot, thumb of ginger, handful of, uh, can't speak right now, handful of chopped coriander leaves, and one can of chickpeas. Wait, do I have to make this myself? Hang on. Maybe if you want to see this right now, just, there's the front and then there's the back. Some pretty nice stuff right here. And then here we have right here some I think to carry all the stuff. And I'm pretty sure that is Kronos Island right there. You can see that else. Where, where is it? Spiderweb thingy there that Sonic comments on in the game. 
pretty nice. Right. We got... Okay, let's move on to this thing right here. Alright, this thing. Alright, what is in here? Let's find out. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. So we got the... Is this the honey? I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah. Pure honey. Then we got the spice mix. Very nice. Then we got the food coloring right there. Obviously blue. Oh, wait. That just said all the ingredients. That's pretty cool, actually. And we got the garlic here. Then the ras, very nice. Then the coconut milk, very, very nice. Right, let's pull that back and find it doing something stupid. Right, there we go. Okay, so there's at least any ingredients, that's good. Who knows, I've even made this on, on camera, well, not on camera, obviously, because it's going to take ages, but um, yeah. I'm probably going to do a like, taste test of this or something. Right, let's close this. Oh, if I can actually do it, I'm so dumb. Come on, there we go. And... How oh, the heck? Oh, there we go, okay. Right then, over here we have some cutlery, it seems. I think we got a nice little sonic ring there, I think. If it'll come off, there we go. Sonic ring, sweet. Then we got... Um, yeah, wooden spoon with sonic right there, you can see. Then we got some chopsticks. Now, I've never actually used chopsticks before, so interesting experience it'll be, I'm sure. And here's the Sonic Frontiers thing that actually holds the chopsticks in. Then we also have this napkin with Sonic Frontiers on once again. How nice. Right, what is this thing? Oh god, wait. Is this a bag? Is it a table? I think it's a tablecloth or something. Hang on. Let me actually open it up right now. Oh, wait, is this a cyberspace portal? I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Okay, let me try. Oh, wait, it's an apron. Never mind, I'm dumb. Right, okay. You can see there. I'm trying to get it straightened out of it. I can see the gear there. You can see the rest of it at the top there. Hang on. There. You can sort of see it's a cyberspace portal, essentially. A little apron there. And then I think that's everything in here, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, that's everything. All right, then. Um, I think I'll put everything back first and then check out the other box. Alright, that's the first box over and done. So I'll put this down here. Right, I don't want to break this because it's fragile. There we go. Okay. Right then. Let's see what's in here. It might be the same thing, not going to lie, but... Does it matter? So pretty quality stuff, right? Yeah, it's the same thing, I'm pretty sure. Because can see... Right. There we go. Yeah, pretty sure it's the same thing. So we got two rounds of curry. Nice. See there. They've got the same paleta. There we go. Sonic Frontiers. Same thing on the bottom. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've seen everything in here. So, um, yeah, you know what? I think we'll actually make some of this. Use the Sonic Frontiers cutlery and everything. And, um, yeah, let's go. I think I'll see you all back when Rashi made the curry. Bye bye. All right, boys, the curry is done. There. It's, uh, it's looking. A bit green right now. Um, when I cooked it last night, it was actually a lot more blue, but uh, it was more green. I don't, I don't know. The camera was supposed to be more blue, but I don't know. It should be fine, right? Yeah. Right. So um, originally there was supposed to be rice that was actually supposed to be made with this, but um, I kind of fumbled the bag with the rice, so um, we got bread. Bread is just good, right? Yeah, it'll be fine, right? Somehow I can make a curry. But I can't cook rice apparently. Kind of, kind of depressing, not gonna lie. And uh, yeah, if you couldn't tell already, this is uh, like over a week since I last actually recorded the first part of this video, which is why I had a shirt, well not shirt, a jumper on. And uh, yeah, which is my voice is also back to normal, so woohoo. But um, let's dig in, shall we? So um, yes. And I have tasted a bit of it, obviously, when I was cooking, just make sure that it tastes like absolute garbage right now. But um, it tasted alright from what I tasted now. The problem here is that if it does feel like garbage, it's not going to be based on Sega's... I mean, it could be because of a not-so-good recipe, but... It's supposed to be based on my cooking ability. So... If this is like garbage, then it's probably just my fault, honestly. So that's kind of a bummer, but um... Oh well. So one last look at it before I start to tuck it in. It, it, it looks a bit blue, doesn't it? Looks appetizing. Right? Yeah. I don't know how blue it was supposed to be because I couldn't really look up a, how blue curry is supposed to be because curries are usually blue, so... 
Yeah, let's just, um, let's just dig in, shall we? Right. Okay. Let's get some on the bread. Bled. Bread. Right. There we go. I don't want to spill this thing. I don't want to cry. Right. There we go. Right. Three. Two. Uno. Very sweet. What am I doing? What, what I'm actually doing? But I mean, yeah, I can taste a lot of the coconut milk in there. Very sweet. Oh, because my rhinos is yeah, very coconutty. I hope that's how it's supposed to be, but um, it is. It is nice. It is nice. Um, yeah, you know, I'm gonna. Go, I'll go for the second bite. I'll go for the second bite. Right, let's go. All right, bite numero. The bread, shush, bread, stop. Right, anyways, bite number two. Klaus pathetic, what the heck is that? Get more in there. Right. I think I got a carrot in there, that, that made it a lot better, honestly. Yeah. You know what? Overall, I'll say a solid 7 or 8 out of 10, honestly. Which is kind of what I rate the game actually itself, Sonic Frontiers. So, um, yeah, I guess it works. Um, yeah. Alright, Sega, I see you. I see you. The method, brilliant. Took me about 2 or 3 hours to do, I think. Something like that. Probably less than that, honestly. Okay, I saw it like 8 o'clock last night, didn't I? Finish up about 11, but then again, I spent half that time just not really doing much, not gonna lie. So I'd say it took me about two hours to make this at max, then obviously I kind of messed up the rice, so... Yeah, unfortunately we'll have the rice here, but um, overall, I'd say a solid curry. So uh, yeah, I think that does it for today's video then, so once again, a huge... Okay, let's put that bread down before I do something stupid again. And it was, yeah, a huge thank you to Sega for sending me this curry right here, and didn't even expect to get it at all, honestly. But um, yeah, did it, so um... Once again, thank you, Sega. Very much appreciate it. And um, method was solid too. Very solid curry. And there you go. One last look at it. I think you can see a bit of green there. Kind of. Yeah, once again, like I said earlier, I don't know how blue it was supposed to be. So I don't want to push too much blue in. In case I did a bit too much blue. And uh, yeah, I don't really want that. But um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like. Share. Subscribe. Especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed. Watch that join button down below. Remember, it's not necessary. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.